wide open lands, beautiful rolling hills, streams and mountains. The Native American lands of today are beautiful and expansive and deceiving to all those who visit because living in a remote reservation can be challenging for one and all. My name is Wes Studi and I'm an American and a Native American, Cherokee to be exact. And that gives me some special insights on what's happening in our world. So I feel that it's important to share the real story of life on the reservations and how we got to where we are today. Did you know that 29% of employed Native Americans live below poverty level and up to 61% of Native children live in poverty or low income households? or that 23% of Native families live with food insecurity. Do you know what this means? Food insecurity is when a person does not have consistent access to food that is healthy and affordable. If you look at your Indian reservation lands, you can see how food access is a challenge. We live in remote areas, there aren't stores or markets in every neighborhood like there are in yours. Processed foods are the easiest to come by, but they often lead our children to obesity from eating what may be the only thing available. And due to unhealthy diets, statistics show that Native Americans have the highest rate of diabetes in America. In fact, Diabetes is a growing health epidemic among Native people, even Native youth. Speaking of health, you may have heard of the Indian Health Service, clinics set up and run by the federal government. Their stated role is to provide health services to American Indians and Alaska Natives. The problem, they are few and far between across the reservations. Treatment options are limited. Illnesses like cancer are often not treated by the IHS. And few, if any, retail pharmacies exist on the reservation. So what does this mean for tribal members? Even basic health care is limited and often far away from home. Sometimes leaving the reservation is the only option for health care, but with limited resources, Sometimes we have to make a choice, a choice to do the best we can and hope it's enough. Our housing is limited too. The U.S. government offers limited federal assistance with reservation housing, but the results are disturbing. There are 90,000 homeless Native Americans in the U.S., more than any other population. Where there is housing, it's estimated that 40% of it is incomplete or substandard. When disasters strike, the requirements for federal aid often do not apply to the reservations. Despite these challenges, climbing out of poverty is the hope and dream of many. But this is often blocked by educational barriers from underfunded federal schools to a lack of college funding. As a result, only 13% of Native Americans hold a college degree, approximately half the rate of Caucasian Americans. Partnership with Native Americans is a nonprofit. They are Native American-led and Native-serving, and they help address these issues. But they can do so much more with your help and financial support. To learn more about your fellow Americans, Native Americans, and make a difference, please call PWNA today or visit their website, nativepartnership.org. Well, that's thank you in Cherokee.